you want to find the deadweight loss from an excise tax, we're going to compare what happens with the tax to what happened, what would happen without the tax. So without the tax, we just go to where supply meets demand. That's right there. They would sell five units uh, and the price would be 20. Okay. Uh, now the tax is placed. How to find out how much is the tax? Just follow it from, follow the cost from the here and then up to where uh, find the tax there. So the tax is the difference between where we're at here and where the where the supply curve was. So that would be uh, 5, 10, 15. So this is a $15 tax. Um, so uh, we're placing that $15 tax on this market. So we're now going to go to where S plus tax equals demand. So the price now would be 30. And then we're going to follow that down to what uh, where it hits the supply curve. So the, the buyer is going to pay 30. The $15 goes to the government, $15 goes to the seller, and the deadweight loss is going to be this triangle right here. So we just need to calculate that, and that's going to be one half, it's just a triangle here, one half, uh, 15, because that's the amount of the tax, times the number of units we lose. So this is 3 to 5, so that would be 2. Uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, $15 is the deadweight loss from this tax.